Instagram is one of the best platform to make your social media presence. If you are not actively working on or actively posting on social media, then you might not be a business. You have to make your social media presence through Instagram because platforms like Instagram and Facebook is one of the biggest platform social media platform in the world. So making presence in these platforms is quite helpful and quite important as well. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can create Instagram stories. Also, these stories can be used in your WhatsApp, uh, business WhatsApp and even in your Facebook as well. So, hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. This is the sixth video in this Canva course. And in this video, we are going to show you how to make Instagram stories with Canva. So let's get into the video. So as you can see guys, I am in my Canva account right now. Okay. Now to create Instagram story, you just have to uh, click on this create a design. Okay. And search here Instagram story. So as you can see here, Instagram story, Instagram story videos, both are same. You can select any, anyone. Okay. So let's click on this and it will re redirect you to one another page where all the templates will be shown. So as you can see this is a blank page and here you will be able to see the templates so as you can see here these are the pre-made templates which you can use to create your instagram story in a faster and better way okay but for now we are starting or we are creating a story with totally scratch so that you can understand more about the features or more about the tools of uh, canva okay so first the main uh, element which we have to add in our stencil or and in our artboard is element i mean the background right so let's select the background first if i search here background so in the graphics we'll be getting few backgrounds get uh, you can add simply a solid color like you just have to click here and you can select any solid color like this okay so let's uh, go with a solid color for now uh, i guess this one would be a perfect color for now now we have to select or we have to add our logo so that we can make it uh, or it should look like that it is made. So first of all, we uh, will add logo so that it looks like that it is from the company, okay, from the agency. Otherwise, you can create the generic one as well without any branding or without any logo. But it is better to add logos and branding because as a business, you have to show or you have to market yourself as well. Right. And with the logo and with the branding, proper logo and proper branding, you can add the details or add the data which you want to provide. Because if you are just branding yourself, if you are just branding about the company, then nothing will gonna uh, interact with this post or with this story. You have to share some valuable content on social media. Okay. This is the mantra of any social media pl platform that you have to share valuable content. Then you have to market yourself. So this is the mantra. Now, after adding the logo, also make sure you are using removed logo, background removed logo. Although uh, Canva provides to remove the background, okay, of any logo or any image, but that is a paid feature. Otherwise, you can go directly into Google and just search for background remover, okay. And this is the website www.remove.bg. This website will help you to remove background from any image. After removing the background, you can use that particular image in your Canva. For example, we have removed the background of our logo. As you can see, this is the background removed logo. Okay. And if you have Canva, uh, Canva Pro, then you can use it directly here from here. If you click on this edit image, you'll be seeing background remover. It will automatically remove the background, but it is only for pro accounts, paid accounts, right? After adding this, let me add one, one border over here. So let me search just border. And as I've already told you in the previous video that main things or main elements you will getting in this Canva platform, you'll be getting all the uh, elements in this uh, element section only. Okay. Otherwise there are more options as well like photos from here you can directly search only photos but in the element section you will get everything like graphics photos videos frames even audio as well otherwise you can click on apps and here are all the options which you can use right these are the copyright free and uh, these are the platform from where you can get the content right now let's go back to element and search for border as i've searched here 
and hit enter let's see what type of borders we are getting uh, let me click on this see all button and you'll be able to see all the borders which you can choose from mm, i guess uh, let me go back and select in the photos section maybe i can get any useful uh, border for example uh, let's choose this one i guess this white color background would be fine for now this is a border and if you are not able to see the properly you can make it a big like this you can change the size size of this stencil or you can say artboard like thing okay after adding the border you can resize it okay by just stretching from the corners or you can stretch from the right or from the upside as well like this let me press ctrl z and this is a tape like thing okay this is a tape like uh, border so yeah it is looking good for now now let's select one headline and add right marketing funders then resize this as well let me close this this is okay once you resize it you can just uh, drag and drop in the middle of this uh, back border okay you can change the font as well let me select yeah this one is looking good handwriting one otherwise we can go with blue as you can see here i guess it's looking good now to add the data or the content you just have to you have to add uh, first the headline otherwise you can select these font combinations as well it is totally up to you okay let me select one another thing uh, let's don't go with this uh, simple text and select these designed uh, you can say design fonts already designed fonts okay uh, i guess this one would be good you once you click here you just have to select these pre-written words and delete and write yours so i'm gonna write for digital marketing tips okay then resize this into 40 otherwise uh, i don't think uh, let me select again and change the size oops it should be 50 i guess plus it a little bit more and as you can see uh, both the lines are pretty close so we can add a spacing uh, by clicking on this button okay this is the let letter spacing on and this is the line spacing so just increase the line spacing a bit so that it looks better and i guess the uh, color should be also changed because it is not looking good on this color background okay black would be fine i guess okay after resizing it just uh, scroll or hover your cursor over here and once you uh, get this plus icon you can drag and drop this like this okay so it is now looking like this now i have to add the text which is for digital marketing tips right as i've already told you we have to provide value as well now for this i'm gonna this heading option the first one is branding then go social website then content so this is the text let me select uh, the text and change the font into let me close this change the font into corporate select the text again and change into oh uh, wait guess this is not working select the text again change into corporate and these are the fonts we can choose from i think i should go with this one yeah it is looking good now resize it a bit so that the content gets fit and like this so you can resize it from directly from here as well or you can just change the font font size from here as well so both are same almost after adding this here you can add an image here as well like go back to elements search digital marketing and here are the images which you can choose from so these are basically graphics and i guess marketing strategy now let me go back to digital marketing again digi marketing otherwise social media and this one would be fine select this and just drag and drop after adding this image you can add more because you have a uh, space little bit here so you can uh, we can add one more image now let's search digital marketing i guess yeah this animated one would be fine let's resize it and place it in the middle like this now decrease the size of this story and this will be looking like this also there is one more thing you can add animation into these things let me show you just you have to select this 
which graphics or which image you have added then click on anime and here are the element animation which you can add into these elements okay let me show you like this it is looking good a little bit okay you can add in on enter on exit or both as well which means if you add on enter then when the story is gets loaded the entering animation would be like this and if you want to add the exit animation also like same you can do that as well like this okay for now i'm just adding on enter also if you want to add animation into whole page you can do that as well just click on animate and here are the page animations which will be added in the whole content like this or like this this one is looking good select the party one a little bit funky but it is totally up to you that how you want to add you want to make it a bit professional or funky okay right now i'm just uh, making this kind of funky okay so yeah that's how your story will be looking like you can uh, click on this play button in order to play again and again like this okay so here is the download button you can download it and upload it on your social media as well if you click on this you just have to click uh, sh on share button and once you click here you can directly download from here okay you got multiple options over here it has some animations that's why it is in mp4 otherwise you can select png and the animation will be gone the still image will be there only okay also we got gif option if you want to use without sound although we haven't sound we haven't added sound in this story so yeah that's how you create in social media or you can say instagram story i hope you understood i hope you like the video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself and that's it for this video guys we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye